and such, you know, you come off a, such a high. You know, I won that medallion. And, you know, maybe, maybe I got in my head a little. And I went against the best. I called that the best. I said it was gonna be the best versus the blessed. And I failed, man. But I got humbled. I deserved that ass beating I did. But they just, they just made me hungrier. And I want more. I don't stay down. The bus doesn't stay down. To get up. And I'm gonna keep going after the best until it's my time to cash in that medallion and become the warrior. Man, I just remember being like a baby, sitting on my dad's lap, watching WWE. And, you know, my dad left for the army when I was only two years old. And when he left, watching wrestling was the only thing that made me feel like he was home. 11 years, no dad, never knowing when he's coming home. Scared of every knock at the door because you don't know if it's gonna be a soldier there telling you, your dad's gone. <laughs> my dad just always wanted to be a US Army Ranger and he did it. And because he achieved his dream, I always wanted to be a pro wrestler, man. Watching guys like John Cena and Randy Orton, getting a little older, watching guys like Roman Reigns, CM Punk. You know, those are guys that inspired me to do what I'm doing today, Rey Mysterio. And being bullied as a kid my whole life for loving wrestling was rough. Whole, I mean, I'm talking middle school, senior year, freshman year, I was sitting by myself at a table that sat 35 kids. I was the only one there because I wanted to be a pro wrestler. And I started when I was 15. Got kicked out of wrestling school, was told I wasn't humble and I'd never make it. 22, I'm taking on the best in the world, traveling the world every single weekend, living off this. I mean, it's what makes me blessed, to be honest. Brian Cage was actually the man who got to pick all of the other men in this match. He got to pick his competition here. Being a part of the uh, Get My Shot Invitational meant everything. You know, me and Brian Cage are very close. Everyone knows I'm Kid Cage, he's Papa Cage. Everyone knows it, man. The AEW locker room used to call me Kid Cage when I was there for a while. And, you know, Brian, Brian's an inspiration to me. You know, I look up to Brian. 
And I always go to Brian for advice because, I mean, the dude's done it all. He's been through it all. And, uh, you know, I go to him for everything. Gym advice, in-ring advice, relationship advice. I mean, it's almost like he is my second dad. And for him to handpick his opponents to choose me meant everything. That was a huge opportunity for me. Uh, you know, I always wanted to be at Warriors. So for me to earn that opportunity and be in that match with the very best in the world today and winning, that meant everything because I felt like I was made in that moment. It was my moment to show the world, like, I'm the next guy. This is my shot. I'm not the biggest guy. I'm not the strongest, but I got the biggest heart for sure. And I got the strongest mindset. And that's why I won. And I'm grateful. And there's, not, there's no other word besides blessed. I remember when uh, I won a big title uh, for a very big company uh, early on in my indie career. And the next day, I was hit up by Warrior. I was followed by them. And I couldn't believe it because at the time, you know, that's the biggest indie at the time. And everybody wanted to be there and only the best of the best were at Warrior. And that's when I kind of knew that I was going to create some kind of buzz right there. And they told me that I was on their radar, but they didn't know when I was coming in. A year goes by, you know, I'm working my ass off. Pandemic hit. Wrestling gets shut down. That's it. No one's going anywhere. No one's flying anywhere. It sucks. And that Warrior was the first company to bring fans to a show. And it inspired every company to do it. And I just remember telling myself, I had two goals by 2021, with 21 being my favorite number. I'm born on July 21st, and I told myself that by my 22nd birthday, I'm gonna wrestle for Warrior, and I'm gonna get signed. 2021, June 5th, I debuted. Won my first match against Cole Radrick. Hell of an opponent. July 15th, I signed my first deal. July 21st, I turned 22. First time here, uh, when I first came here, before my match, before anything, he told me that they see a future with me and they wanted me to go out there that night and prove them right. I did that. Before I left to go back to the hotel to go to sleep, catch my flight the next day, Steve pulled me to the side and looked at me and he goes, you're the future of this business and we want you to be our next guy. You're young, you're talented, you're hungry and we see that and we feel it every time you come here. And all they want me to do is just keep leaving my all here and all they wanted me to do is make them a priority and that's exactly what I was gonna do anyway. But it made me feel like I had a home. For the longest time, I didn't have a true home. And wrestle on Fight TV Live every single time I'm here in front of millions. And he gave me Cole Radrick, he gave me Brian Cage, Dante, Allen, Five Angels, um, Chandler Hopkins, TJP. I mean, the list goes on and on. Tonight, I just took on Alex Shelley, the best in the world. It's called putting it out to existence. And I give it all to God, man, because without God, I wouldn't be here. And I have a heart of a warrior, and I knew that this was my place. This is where I needed to be to show the world exactly who the hell I am and what I'm about. And I feel like every time I'm here, I prove that. And I'm grateful, and I'm gonna keep doing it until I become the warrior champion. I know I call myself blessed, but warrior is the biggest one because I can't overcame so many things. I watched my mom get abused by her ex-husband. Stayed with a strong mindset. Got bullied my whole life. Stayed with a strong mindset. Me and my family got kicked out of our house. Still stayed with a strong mindset. Almost lived on the street. Still had a strong mindset. I didn't quit. And that's what I think a warrior is. Somebody that doesn't quit. And overcomes everything. And here, 
Just like when I got kicked out of wrestling school, my trainer looked me in the face at 15 years old and said, Kid, you're not humble and you're never going to make it anywhere. I never went to a school again. Four months of training. That's all that's under my belt. I'm six years in and signed. I'm only 22. That's being a warrior. Being here is where all the warriors are at. The top warriors from around the world. Not the top wrestlers. Warriors. I'm here to fight them all. I'm here to beat them all. Bless them all. Become the very best warrior there is. What's next? It's one thing. Become the warrior champion.